Agent Guffles in the house. So glad to see you guys again. Wow, I really missed you guys. Well, as you guys know, today's Sunday. Sunday fun day. Right, Bo? Anyways, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or someone. I can't quite put my finger on it. <gasps> Hi! Hey, Tootsie, how are you doing? I'm doing great. And you guys? Oh, I'm sure they're doing just as good as we are. Aren't you, kids? Yes. Yo, I'm so glad it's Sunday again, because oh, I was like missing you guys again. And you, yo. Am but right? you know what's now really exciting? What's that? We're gonna play a game. Are you guys <gasps> ready for a game? Okay, let me, let me get it out. Take it down. <laughs> bubbles. Are you ready to play Bubbles? All right, but um, how do you play Tootsie? Okay, the reason how, oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, the way you play Bubbles, is when I blow, you need to punch it, punch it, and kick it. That is my specialty. Okay, are you guys ready? If you guys have bubbles laying around, go and grab it and play with. Okay. All right, I'm ready. You ready, Bob? Let's do this. You know what's going to make me feel even more better and even more hyped up? What is that? A song. <gasps> yes! You know what, you guys? I really love praising the Lord, don't you guys? Well, before we go into the song, why don't I pray for us? Okay. Dear Lord, thank you so much for another wonderful day. Thank you that we are able to live every day to the fullest, Lord. Lord, thank you that you love us so much and that you give us so much mercy, Lord. We love you. Lord, I pray that you would please help us to receive your message from the song that we are going to listen to. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. song you guys yeah you know it really amazes me how much mercy god has for us i mean he's saving us from spending eternity without him yeah that's so true and i just think it's so cool that the fact that he loves us so much no matter if we're a boy or a girl or what how old are we or even what color we are he loves us all so much and i just wish that Yo, it would just be cool if I even had the mercy for someone else, like how God has for us. It's just 
so much. It is really cool, hey? And you know what? It actually reminds me of a story that Jesus told his disciples. It was about mercy. Now, I can't remember exactly, but why didn't we go find out, kids? Let's go and watch it. I think so. Let's go, you guys. The Miracle of Mercy, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait! The man then asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> by chance, a priest came along. <laughs> But when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Oh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Wow, that story really shows us that we can love someone else that's different than us with our actions and not just our words. That is true, Tutsi. You know what? The fact that Jesus told his disciples a story really shows me that we can do that to our neighbors and to our friends as well. And I know it sounds like an impossible mission, but with him, nothing is impossible. That's so true. Actually, Tootsie, we need to find, some, we need to find out some more things about this. And I know just the person to ask. <gasps> oh yes, Mr. McStuffles! That's right, and I heard somewhere along the grapevine, that he has brought a friend with him. So you guys, I think we all better go and inspect the story. Oh, but first we need to call him. Are you ready? Am I ready? Get back. Are you guys ready? I'm sure you guys are, this is always fun. Okay, so you take your first finger and you put it on your nose. And the second finger in the air. And then we say, Bazinga. Let's actually do it now. Remember, you need to scream as loud as you can. People next door, they need to hear you. Okay, let's go. One, two, 
Bazinga! Bazinga! Hello, buddies. How are you doing? I'm so excited to be with you today. And today, I'm visiting a very good friend of mine, Gertie Greenfingers. Hello, guys. I'm Gertie Greenfingers. Today, we are going to plant this plant into a bigger um, pot. Now, it's very important that you listen carefully because this we can apply practically to our own lives. Gertie, why are we going to do that? First, that, that plant is getting strangled in that pot. So we are going to take it and we're going to put it in. What do we need? We need some soil, some compost and also some bovine manure. Bovine manure? What's that? Okay, okay, so we've got all the ingredients. What plant is that? Oh, this is a miniature Kurdar rose. Okay, and in common English? Oh, it's a beautiful smelling flower. Okay, great. So let's get to work. You say we should take the soil? Yes. And then we mix this bovine manure. <coughs> And this, okay. Let me just put on my gloves. No, wait a minute. Sometimes you need to feel nature. You need to feel the moment. You need to leave the gloves. Okay, so we're going to get our hands dirty. Yep. Okay, let me get my hands dirty. Okay, we mix, mix it, it all up. together. Mix okay. It up. Okay, it's all mixed up. Yep. Now we're going to put it in the spot. Okay. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. What do you think? Yes, a little bit more and a little bit more. Tittle drop. Yes, that's beautiful. Now, okay, and it's a uh, miniature cordonum rosé. Don't, don't murder it! <sighs> Look how tangled its roots are. So now I understand why you say it's getting a little bit <clears throat> scraggled. Okay, you just loosen it up, I see. Just okay. a little bit. Okay. And then you put it in. Okay, there we put it in. Should we remove this dead one? Yes, if you want, I think so. Okay. Just yes. The dead one. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Now we just need to put the ground in it. More soil. Yes, more soil. Okay. More. Maybe some two cups. That's two good. Two more to go. Okay, that's good. And two more. One and two. That is great. Now we need some water. Perfect. Now, friends, this reminds me of that story we listened to about the Good Samaritan and this traveler. You know what? The Jews. And the Samaritans hated each other. But actually the priest and the Levite was obligated by law to tend to the traveler. But they were too busy. Then the good Samaritan came along. And he was willing to get his hands dirty and help this poor traveler that's been robbed. He spent time. He spent money to get this traveler well again. And I want to challenge you to get out there. Get your hands dirty. Show someone the love of Jesus. You know, Jesus tells us, love your neighbor as yourself. Love the people as I have loved you. So go out there and just do it. Love people like Jesus does. Yes, just do it. And get your hands clean. And remember to put on sunscreen and a hat. And sunscreen that I don't know.
on it on hand now. So, see you later, guys, and hope you have a nice day. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you, Mr. Max Stoffels and Gertie Greenfingers. That was really inspiring, and I can't wait to get into the garden myself. Me neither. And thank you so much, Mr. Max Stoffels, for sharing that light with us on the story. We really did learn a lot. Yeah. Now, kids, on that note, it is time for this week's memory verse. All right. Today we are reading from Luke 10, verse 27. Are you guys ready? Let's go. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Luke 10 verse 27. Well done kids, that was amazing. Yes. Yo, I can't believe it's the end. I have to wait a whole week to see you again and you kids. Oh, but you guys must have a blessed week. Well, wait a second. You can't forget about my favorite time now, can you? What is that again? Come on, you kids must know what time it is. It is time to... Starts with a B. Ends with a Y. A boogie. Three. Follow his lead. Mm -hmm. You are love and I worship. 